I just saw this reel and it kind of gave a little bit of like, like a scare tactic. I mean, the video wasn't really wrong, but it didn't really give any information. What it was talking about is that if you're 50 years old or older um, and you break your hip, you have a one in three chance of dying within a year. Now that sounds pretty scary. So let's elaborate on that a little bit more. There was not really a whole lot of elaboration. The point of the whole video was to go ahead and start working out, strengthen your bones. There's not enough information on that as well. So basically what happens is if you're 50 or older and you're not exercising, not fit already, just like the average person that's not doing very much, and you become sedentary because you have a hip fracture and you gotta let it heal, you're pretty much bedridden for a little bit. Some people are getting decubitus ulcers, they're getting um, um, oh, blood clots, all these things are starting to build up and which is leading to issues. And if you get a blood clot and it leaves, travels around, gets in the heart, then you can have a heart attack and you die. Uh, you get to keep this ulcers, they can get infected. It's big, basically, it's a big open wound because it's sitting on your whole backside the whole time. Um, you can get pneumonia. People who aren't moving around aren't very active. They don't have a whole lot of uh, strength capacity in the lungs. So they start leading to pneumonia. So there were a whole lot of factors to leave, lead up to, yeah, the one in three chance people will die within a year. But it wasn't elaborated on. Just the average person, if you're already exercising, decent diet, re relatively fit, um, you, you pretty much can be okay. Uh, now, if you want to go ahead and worry about strengthening the bones, then it takes more than just working out with the weights. If you already have brittle bones and you're susceptible to breaking, and your osteoporosis is starting to kick in, which is just brittle bones, then you need to take some supplements or increase, change your diet around. Um, what you need to do is you should incorporate D3, calcium, and phosphorus. The vitamin D3 helps the absorption of the calcium and the phosphorus into the bones, which is going to strengthen the bones and give you more density in the bones so you can handle it and not break so easily. Um, change your diets, put some more nutrient-rich foods, stay from processed foods, Foods, fast foods have a little more leaner denser meats um, and then if you can get some type of calcium into your diet whether it's a dairy or definitely a supplementation okay that's probably one of the better things to definitely take for your supplements uh, so just want to elaborate on that real quick I don't want to do all that fear mongering if you fall down break your hip you're gonna be dead within a, a year now it's there's a lot more to it than that so don't, don't worry about that I just want to elaborate a little more hope the video helps you out if you got any questions let me know